joined by head coach uh, Matt Langle of the Colgate Raiders, along with Tucker Richardson and Oliver Lynch Daniels. This time, coach, if you could uh, give your thoughts on the game, please. Yeah, hats off to tip your cap to to Texas. Um, you know, we watched a lot of film over the last week. Uh, they assisted 20 times on 13, made three-point shots. Um, some of them we were, you know, that's the we picked that poison to give them a chance to to make those shots, and they really stepped up and 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 buried them, made it hard for us. Um, Douglas uh, put us in a hole. Uh, these guys, their teammates fought like crazy to make it a game. I think that they should be uh, incredibly proud and, and hold their heads high. I know I'm proud to be their coach. Uh, they left everything they possibly had on the court. Um, and so again, tip your cap to Texas. They're a really good team and, and they played really well. Take a question in the front row here. Um, if either Tuck or Oliver could answer. Um, they, Texas, oh, Thomas Jones lost an American statesman. Texas uh, emphasized guarding the three-point shot for you guys. What made them especially effective on the perimeter defense? Go with Tucker first and Oliver. Yeah, I mean, um, they're a really athletic, quick uh, team, especially those guards. When they get um, Rice in there as a third guard, they're just really quick, and um, it's kind of hard for us to get open. So uh, we tried to find ways to create open opportunities, but obviously they were really ready for that. So. Um, the fact that we only got 15 threes up, uh, clearly they did a good job at that. Um, so credit to them. Yeah, they just, yeah, I feel like they uh, just denied and tried to blow up a lot of our, our actions and make it really difficult. I mean, we got some, some open looks at the basket, but I think their, their game plan was to try and really run us off the line. So you had a lot of guys flying at you really hard. So, you know, we take, we take good threes. We don't just shoot threes just to shoot threes. So, yeah, they kind of, uh, kind of took, that, took that away from us. We have a Zoom call question. Go ahead, Mallory. We have a question from Mario Sacco at News Channel 9. Mario, when you're ready. Coach Langle, those guys sitting beside you uh, have meant a lot to this program. What do they mean to you? Oh, shoot. Um, yeah, it's hard for me to talk about these guys, Mario. Um, uh, they represent everything that's good with the game uh, and everything that's good with college athletics. Um, both of them could have chosen not to come back to Colgate last year, found a way to graduate and, and move on and go play somewhere else. I think it speaks to uh, who they are, the families they come from, the pride they have in the program that they've helped build, uh, and their commitment to their pursuit of opportunity uh, to do what they did this year. Again, you know, Oliver, I, I think he led the country in three-point shooting, and, and, and Tucker is in the his, all the history books at Colgate and in, in the conference that he plays in. Um, and they're two of the finer human beings I've ever been around. Uh, I have a 15-year-old daughter, and I hope she's a long way away from getting married, but if she ends up one day marrying a guy like this, I, I couldn't ask for anything more. And I, as a father, I think that's about as good a compliment as you can pay to uh, another man. Another question on Zoom? We have a question from Noah Ram at the Utica, Utica Observer. Noah, when you're ready. This is, a, this is a question for uh, Tucker and Oliver. I know it's hard right now in the moment. Can you guys just touch on, you know, what your Colgate experience was like, obviously? You know, t again, tough way to go out, but just what these past few years have, have meant to you guys. Start with Tucker first. Um, yeah, definitely hard to even put into words. I would just say um, these last five years, I've just been so proud to represent like Colgate and everything that Colgate means. Even in here, having um, family and coaches watching this means a lot. It just shows how much of a family this team has been. Um, and I feel like everywhere I'll go from here on, when I meet someone that went to Colgate or knows something about Colgate, I'll have a special connection with them just because of everything this place has meant to me. So just super proud of everything, even outside of basketball. I just love being a part of this school and this program. Um, it's meant everything to me, and uh, it's hard to process the fact that it's over, obviously, but um, I'll never forget and never, uh, yeah, just never forget everything that happened here, and um, it's just been an incredible ride. 
Yeah, I would uh, like to just second that. It's uh, It's been an amazing experience for me. I mean, I started off elsewhere and didn't know exactly where things were going to go. And then uh, I came to Colgate and kind of everything just, just turned around. And, you know, I fell in love with the team, fell in love with the coaching staff. You know, every day I just enjoyed getting up, going to practice and just hanging out with the team. And uh, it really just shows how much that the program has meant to me and uh, how much it'll mean in the future. And uh, I can't thank them enough, really. Question on the aisle. Montre Dave, Daily Texan. Um, Coach Langle, uh, y'all got it down uh, to single digits a couple times in the second half. Um, when you got there, Texas extended the lead back out. What stopped you guys from closing that gap even further in the second half? Texas. No, it was really cool. Uh, we played a game last year in Milwaukee uh, against the Badgers, and no matter what happened in the game, 17,000 people were rooting for the Badgers. Uh, and uh, this year, I, I was hoping that we could kind of get it close enough and uh, keep it close enough that this crowd, and, and Des Moines has been incredible, uh, the hospitality, the kindness of the people, uh, the event that they've helped put on here with the NCAA has been incredible. To have the crowd, you know, chanting Colgate, uh, I think it was a testament to the resolve of our players, their commitment, their fight, their togetherness, um, to kind of keep fighting the hope that we could get it to single digits and then, you know, get it a little bit closer and make it a two possession game and just, you know, find a way like they have in so many situations um, at the end of the game. But, I mean, it, it was a different guy every time, you know, Disu made a, you know, 12 foot one hand floater that he's really good at, you know, Sir Jabari Rice, I just, what he does for his team is incredible to come off the bench as a, as I think he's in his fifth year. Um, he's as good of an overall basketball player as, as I've seen all year. Um, his intelligence, his IQ, uh, his poise, his defense, um, his recognition of his teammates, uh, but his ability to step up and I mean, he made seven threes in the in the first half and and they weren't that easy. I mean, we were we were giving them those shots, but they're off the dribble. And um, so they they were poised. They've been through a lot as a team. Again, they're veteran guys that didn't all start at Texas. They they went there for a reason. Um, and, and I'm really I was really impressed with their resolve and their togetherness. Um, their ability to navigate, I, I think it probably, it probably, you know, has, has positioned them well at this point, all that they've been through this season. And so, you know, quite frankly, like we got where we needed to be amidst the circumstances and they just, they were together enough and they didn't fracture and they stepped up and made, made plays for one another. I think 20 assists is, is really impressive. I have time for one more question. Any other questions? If not, Coach, seniors, congratulations on a great career. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.